Hey everyone, in this video, we're going to be looking at how to use the Shape Builder tool in Adobe Illustrator. It's one of my favorite tools and one I think everyone should know. I wish I'd learned it earlier in my design career. But what is this fancy Shape Builder tool? Well, we need a couple shapes on our document in order to use it. So I'm going to create two circles out here with the ellipse tool. The shortcut key for that is L. I have a fill and no stroke. If I click and drag while holding shift, it's going to create a nice circle. And then I can press V for the selection tool, hold option or alt on PC and click and drag to duplicate this circle. Now I've got two shapes out here. The way the shape builder tool works, it looks at overlapping shapes and allows you to kind of do those pathfinder options by just clicking on your shapes. So if we click this, drag it over and overlap these two, you'll notice how they overlap each other like this. Now we need to grab the shape builder tool. Shift M is the shortcut key for the shape builder tool. So over here in your toolbar, it looks like a little cursor with two circles actually drawn through it. So with the shape builder tool selected and the shapes overlapping selected, I can then hover and you'll notice how the shape builder tool can see each of the different parts of your shapes. Now you might also notice that the cursor has a plus. If you hold option or alt, that switches to a minus. That's gonna be important for the different function that you wanna do. Let's say I wanted to merge all of these together. What I would do is just click and drag through all the shapes that I see and let go. Now we have merged together just a single shape. I'm gonna hit Command or Control Z to undo that. The other thing to look at too, if you want your Shape Builder tool to draw like mine, you can double click on the Shape Builder tool in your toolbar and it's gonna open up the Shape Builder tool option. Lots of different options here. The main one is under selection, whether or not you're drawing in a straight line or your free form. I like the free form option personally. I'm gonna hit okay. And what that does is it allows me to draw however I want through my shapes, not just on a straight line. So with that freeform option, if you're not getting that, you might want to go switch it so that you can draw like me. But here, it doesn't really matter. Now, there's lots of different ways to think about this. So remember, I've got these selected, got the Shape Builder tool on. If I wanted to subtract a shape, I can hold Option or Alt, so it switches to a minus, and I can simply click on that shape to subtract it, just like that. The other thing I can do, I'm hitting Command Z to undo. If I wanted to subtract these two outside ones, I could simply hold Option or Alt, draw through one shape, and then make sure I draw through the other. I'm just gonna subtract those as well. well. Let's back this up once more. The other thing we can do, as you recall, and we might've forgotten at this point, these are two circles. So this shape in the middle actually doesn't exist yet. If I simply wanted to not necessarily get rid of or merge anything together, I just wanted these three shapes, I could click on one and click on the other. And then what it's gonna do is allow me to just basically slice and dice these pieces. Now I'm probably gonna have two of these in the middle. That's because we started with two circles. And since we clicked on one, it left that part. We clicked on the other, it left the underneath part. So I've got two leaves now, if that makes any sense. But really simple way to split out your shape. So with this Shape Builder tool, I would say holding Option or Alt basically removes anything you're gonna click on or draw through. Leaving it be with the plus sign will merge anything you draw through together or allow you to just create that shape right there by clicking on it. And now I actually have this piece and have all these different pieces like that. So you can split your shapes really quick and easily. Now, what I really like about this, and you might say, well, doesn't the Pathfinder options panel do the same exact thing? If I have these two shapes selected and I find my Pathfinder options and maybe I Look at all the different shape modes here. Yeah, merge or unite will unite all my shapes together. I could undo and then go back and maybe split them with, uh, I could minus front. That's gonna subtract the front shape from the back shape. So there are different things here. And I would recommend maybe using the Pathfinder, especially when you have lots of different uh, meticulous little shapes that you're trying to do. Like if you were trying to remove a bunch of stars from this, it might be quicker to draw all these stars out. And if they're small, let's change the color just so that we can see it here on our other shape. But let's say I had a bunch of really small stars and I wanted to knock all these stars out of this shape without 
having to go through and click on each one of them because you might notice if I have the shape builder tool selected, well, I'm gonna have to actually maybe even zoom in here and hold minus or hold option and alt and to subtract. I'm gonna have to click on each one of these individually to get rid of them or try to select them all. That's not how I would wanna do it. I would just rather grab this and then go to the Pathfinder option and then maybe select. And this is always where I try to find the best option here. Let's try minus front. Yep, there you go. Since all these stars were in front of this shape, it subtracted them out with one click. So I just wanted to show you that the Pathfinder is still useful. The Shape Builder tool isn't necessarily a replacement of that Pathfinder, but the Shape Builder tool is incredibly helpful and incredibly efficient at basically adjusting and cutting off shapes. And I think it changed the way that I think about how I design here in Illustrator and it helped me actually craft the designs that I want just by selecting shapes and being able to chop off sections. It's allowed me to create lots of different pieces and lots of different designs super quickly. A lot of times I'm using the rectangle tool if I wanted to just cut off a portion of something, select that shift M and then hold option and just draw through. Very quickly I can just delete out uh, anything I don't want or you know, add together. A lot of times I'm using a rectangle to sort of delete portions of things. And I think that this is uh, one of the best tools here in Illustrator.